Hi, and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use the Jumper Virtual Lab with GNU MCU Eclipse plugins. GNU MCU Eclipse is a great way to develop your embedded code, and Jumper adds a very cool and sleek way to do debug your code inside of a virtual lab. To download the GNU MCU Eclipse version, the latest version, you should head down here to the download section and click this link to download the pre-bundled version of Eclipse with um, the GNU MCU Eclipse plugin already pre-installed and the C development tools pre-installed in that as well. Just pick your operating system of choice and download your version right here. The next step would be to download and install the Jumper Virtual Lab. You'll need to head to docs.jumper.io, head to the install section right here in this link, and if you're using Windows, just click here and download the installer. Apologies in advance, the installer uh, executable is not signed yet, but we're working to get that fixed. So you'll need to have Windows just uh, approve and run it any anyway. The next step would be to log in using your Jumper account, just by typing Jumper login in a command line. I'm already logged in in this computer, so it's going to say that I'm logged in. But you can go ahead and create an account right in the dialog that's going to pop up or use your exi existing credentials right here. I'm going to close this window because this process is all done and ready. Next, I'm going to open my Eclipse that I downloaded right here. Great, so Eclipse finished loading. I'm going to use a predefined project called STM32 Button Debounce. It uses the embed OS to create a debouncer for a button. Uh, I want to debug this code, but unfortunately I don't have the supported board. Uh, this board is the Nucleo STM32F411. Uh, I'll just place a breakpoint here. I'm going to set up a debug configuration using the Jumper Virtual Lab. So right here I have a new option for GDB Jumper debugging. And I'll set a few things. So I'll set the project name and I'll pick the executable right here from the build folder of my STM32 button debounce example. I'm going to go with the ELF because I need the debug symbols. Heading over to the debugger tab. This checkbox right here needs to be ticked and for board name I'm gonna go with the STM 32F4 if you want to be more particular you can go ahead and type in your particular board number everything here is set up very well you'll need to uh, set the executable path for ARM NANI ABI GDB I already did this another option is to do that through the Eclipse preferences I'll hit apply I'm going to hit debug and what is going to happen, I don't have a device connected to my computer, it's going to load up the Jumper Virtual Lab with the relevant device and I'm going to uh, see the code with my breakpoint right here. From this point you can just debug as if it's a normal debugger and a normal device connected. You got re your registers view right here with your ARM registers you can place breakpoints, step in, step out, um, check memory values. It's all working out of the box as if it's a real device. The great advantage about using the Jumper Virtual Lab is when you're debugging things that are sensitive to timers and real-time counters, everything will stop once you hit a breakpoint, as opposed to the physical hardware where you have to do a lot of work to get that same behavior to happen. So that's it. Happy to provide more support at contact at jumper.io. Thank you.